Hello everybody, it's time for a mailbag. Um, we've got a package here that is in a giant uh, foil bag. I'm guessing it's anti-static, could just be made to look anti-static. But it is something that you've seen before on the channel in a slightly different version. This is the Circuit Specialist um, anti-static soldering mat and this is slightly different than the one that i already have and obviously it's got the circuit specialist branding which if you're not familiar with the company they're the ones who provided my main oscilloscope they provided my um triple power supply which i absolutely love my variac which i just did a video about and uh they provided this in the package and i decided not to uh to include this in the other video because i did want to show it off separately but one of the things is that it has different um compartments the other ones that i've had all have little tiny shallow compartments here that just the lids pop open all the time i like this thing it's got deeper um compartments in it feels heavier it's clearly heavier than those cheaper blue ones i've had in my other videos as well as uh this thing here i'm not exactly sure what that would be for um maybe i don't, I don't really know what the the purpose of that is it's got places for uh supplies and tools and uh magnetic section over here and just kind of a nice little soldering mat um i use these things all the time and uh when i'm done with them and they get really filthy i actually just i run them through the dishwasher obviously the only things in there and i run them through the dishwasher then i usually run the dishwasher once with nothing in there but uh these things last a long time and take a lot of abuse so now i've actually got one for all of my solder stations and you'll see this um i'm sure in some videos this kind of cool socket or circuit board location area so i'm guessing yeah i don't know I don't, I'm, I'm guessing there's some kind of point to that i might have to look it up and find out what that's all about so this thing um, is supposed to be something for holding circuit boards down in this area and, and I guess up in here. I've already got pins on this one so it's not the best example. Um, but I think it's for holding boards in place and then it does have these little things up here for, um, I guess you could poke in there and put your tools in there, hold them like that or your tweezers and hold them like that. I don't tend to use that stuff a lot because mine gets moved around a lot but it might not need to be now that I have another one of these. So. Um, it's got a little ruler down here for measuring stuff, inches and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, it just feels like a high quality mat. And you know, I know it was a gift, but it does feel definitely higher quality than the ones I've been getting off Amazon. Next up, we've got an Amazon package here and I'm um, gonna cut into this. I think there's a couple things in here. Yeah, so we've actually got three things here. Um, let's grab this one first. This first thing is a, uh, it is a micro SD card memory holder. And, let me get it out of the package here. One of the reasons why I've been wanting something like this is that it is very difficult to label my micro SD cards. So I make a bunch of them for different Pi projects. And for the most part, like once it gets separated from its device, uh, it just pretty much gets rebuilt because I don't remember exactly what was what. So uh, what I thought with this I could do is put labels on here so I can actually label a card as number one, maybe SanDisk one or put a letter on there or something like that. And I can actually put labels on the front and back, forget these outlines, but uh, put labels on the front and back telling me what they are. So for instance, one of my computers, each operating system is actually on its own SD card. So I have a Windows 95, a Windows 98. And so I could just put a little letter on there and then add it. Now it's made to be stored in your wallet and stuff like that. I'm not that much of a nerd, but um, you know, for my purposes, this thing I think is gonna be pretty dang handy. In fact, I've got another SD card right here and I'll probably try to group these by project type. So my retro pie ones will all go in one. Then if I fill this up, I'll get another one. So source 10 micro SD cards. And speaking of Raspberry Pi retro pie, I have one more Raspberry Pi 4 than I have power supplies. I know, feel bad for me. Um, but when I order stuff for Raspberry Pi, I've been getting the Argon power supplies, but this one is generally pretty good. My Canakit stuff is a close second. So I wound up getting this Canakit. It was like two bucks cheaper. And uh, when I ordered it, it was all able to come in quickly. So this Canakit one, nothing too exciting, but it is a 3.5 amp USB-C charger. Uh, perfect for a Raspberry Pi 4, 400, stuff like that. 
And next up over here, we have this Lensent travel adapter. And I've got this for a very specific reason. So we're gonna open this up. And there are two of them in the package. And this is one of those EU to USA ones. And it's not a death adapter. This thing is actually grounded. And there's a reason why I wanted a quality um, EU to US plug adapter. And I will show you why. In that big video where I showed my $60 haul of electronic stuff, one of the things that didn't make it was this bad boy. This is a Simran automatic voltage regulator AR2000, and it will step up to 220 volts if you're in America. It will step down to 110 volts if you are elsewhere. And uh, the reason why I needed those adapters is because it came with this, and there was no way I was going to plug this thing into a death adapter. For those of you unfamiliar, the death adapter is basically something that just connects, uh, I probably have one around here somewhere, but just connects these two pins and kind of ignores the ground. But I didn't feel like I wanted to ignore the ground. I felt like I wanted to include the ground. And so this is a very good quality, um, from what they say on Amazon, adapter here that should leave this thing grounded. Now I'm gonna do a full review about this, um, but then it will also allow me to, I can't plug it in this way, but um, it will allow me to plug in other EU things uh, should I ever need to. So uh, we're gonna be doing some stuff with some 220 volts. I've got a little bit more Variac stuff coming out. Uh, so we're gonna be playing with this separately, but I needed to have this for this. Next up, I almost forgot this one. Uh, let's go ahead and cut it open. I'm 99% sure I know what it is. Uh, this is, ah, yeah, LED holders. Um, now, I've actually been going through these things like a madman, and uh, you can see, see here, uh, got a little tiny place to put the LED, and then they come with this little plastic thing to kind of hold the LED in. I'll get one of those out in just a second. Um, they also make them in three millimeter size. I went through a bunch of these in a project recently and uh, starting to get a little bit low, not in the three millimeter, but in the five. Let me see if I can show you. All right, so I think these things just look really slick um, on things. I wind up using a little bit of hot glue to hold the LED in. You don't technically have to, but I like doing that. Let me poke this thing out here. Um, it is hard to remember to put this thing on. Uh, so you put the LED in this little uh, thing here, which is nice because it does keep the leads spaced apart. And then what you can do is poke Get in there and that is sick. And so what I like about these also is that they're um, relatively long threads on them. So I can put them in quarter inch thick or even slightly bigger materials. Uh, so as you can see there, I can put it in there and I can get rid of that washer if I need to. But it just makes kind of a nice, um, you know, just a nice clean look on your LEDs. You can slide them in, just jam them in there. Then when, when I get it in there, what I like to do is put a little bit of hot glue here and run it up the threads and that prevents this thing from backing out and make sure they're all pushed in the same amount and all looking good. So these things are about $10 for 50 of them on Amazon. And I've gotten them from China in the past, but they've gotten more expensive from there. So I uh, wound up getting these from Amazon. I should say on my last project, um, one of the reasons why I went through so many of these three millimeter ones is that the uh, there were some pre-made holes on my cases. And I think I might've shown the Arduino case I was using in a, a previous video, but the, the holes were relatively small. And so what I actually did was I used two nuts. So I have to replace some nuts also. Um, but I basically use one nut, because I'm again, filling an existing hole, uh, to put like that. So one sort of acted as a washer and the other one acted as the nut to hold it on there. Um, just had to do what I had to do that day. So I went through twice as many holders because I had to use up the second set of nuts. But either way, I got the job done, got the job out the door. And sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do.